Hello, hello. Hello. Deeks, thank you very much for the uh, resub, dude. It's a long friggin' time, man. Thank you very, very much. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Deeks. Yeah, not too bad, thanks. Not too bad. Sorry, I was just sorting some, some bits out. Uh, I need to get the add-on as well, don't I? There it is. Is the extension on? Or did I not turn it back on? Let's have a look. Let's have a nosy, see if I got the extension on. My extensions... It's not. There we go. Activate. Surely good. Right. This needs to come out like so. There we go. Hello. Right. We go to. Can you all see the stream? Can you see the game? Yep. Excellent. Do do do. You see chesticles? Oh nice! That's what we like to hear. Wop 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 wop. Let's go, yo. Uh, maybe, Bethren? Uh, let's have a look. Did it save us exactly where we were? <laughs> Lewd. Is that default, I wonder? Oops, shit. Hold on. Let me do that. Ash and Phoenix, that was very kind of you. Welcome, and thank you for the, uh, thank you very much for doing the gifts up. That's really kind of you, thank you. Oh, what a lovely gesture, thank you so much. Pharos can spam delicious loot again. All of the loot. You're gone, Bethryn, hit me, hit me. Save us some sanity. I'm not, again, I'm not sure if we've got, uh, we've actually got it, uh, Middle, left, right. Well, it worked. <laughs> Should we suck this man off before we leave? Come with me over there. Of course. Of course. Uh, hey, dude, what do you need? Well, oh, nice and bathroom. Thanks, dude. Hey, very. Oh, nice. I love looking so Vicky. Let me just uh, chomp this man. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Num. The drama. Go ahead, Davey. Delicious drama. Lacey gets so excited about uh, munching people that she changes out of her police costume into a nice suit. Oh, hello. <laughs> yes, this is Vampire. Alright, let's have a quick look. Let's have a look at this costume. Oh, that's really nice, actually. Uh, lewd. That's actually really, really nice. And it is pretty lewd, actually. It's like a corsety. I wouldn't say it's not. It's one of those not very protected but very pretty sort of armors. You've got like, you got like the semi see through bit with the chest. You've got like the uh, bits around the legs and stuff. It's very ornate, nice cloaky, and the shoulder pads looks really nice. Very very cool. Subcultured outcast. Thank you so much. 
Why can't I move? Oh, there we go. I'm stuck on a bench. Thank you, Subculture. That's really kind of you as well. Thank you so much for the biddies. <laughs> Lewd. Lewd. Beep. And Noble, thank you for the gifts of the Deus Age. Why would you keep standing Shit. under that? Is he conscious? Choo choo! <laughs> All aboard the loot train! Loot train! Woo woo! Thank you, Noble. Thank you, Ollie! Thank you very much for the gifts, though, dude! You figured that out really quickly. I didn't figure it out. Bethany told me the solution. <laughs> Felt that noise. I was like, no, nah, mate, well, well, I'm kind of out. Suspicious items missed, two out of 11. That's because it bugged and we couldn't get them, but, uh. Oh, there's nothing, so there's nothing not suspicious about it. Bethany told me the solution. All aboard the loot train. Seriously, thank you again, Subculture. Thank you, Noble. Thank you, Ollie. You're all filthily lewd. You escaped and took out the guards. You held the vessel that was locked in. You recovered all of your memories. And I got a resonance bonus. And I found Halsey's stuffed animal. That was nice of me. Hope's all well where you're at. It won't stop raining where I'm at. The city's already flooded. Really? That bad? Holy crap. I hope everything's okay. I mean, it's, it's kind of... Uh, it's been kind of raining on and off here, but not that bad. Yeah, I, I kind of wonder why Halsey's toy was like that as well. I didn't discover Beryl's secret. Yeah, because we got fucking scammed, man. Oh, looks like we're going as uh, Leisure again then. Thank you, Subculture. And thanks everyone for kicking off the train, by the way. Thank you, guys. It's always, uh, always nice to hear the choo-choo from Dolly. Okay, uh, we got a hundred points. I guess we want to put something in. Turns out we want to do. Not that, apparently. We can get an extra point in Dominate. We actually get two points in Dominate if we wanted to. Have we got anything else that's free? We got one in Security that's free. We got two in Security that's free. Hmm. Sure. What the fuck does Donna's medicine do? That's an interesting thing as well. The Laisha backstory song. Uh, right. What are we going to go with? Do we want to go for technology and go for extra hacky stuff? Going, breaking into an enemy base, it could actually be really useful to get another point in technology, I think. Or we could go for like, three in like, rhetoric. Have you ever taken an item off the shelf in a grocery store only to watch as the item grows and destroys the store, becoming the size of a continent and transforming into a colossal shape of banana that grows arms and cradles and clothes your name to the soft sun? You know, I swear that happened to me the other day, but I think I might have been imagining it, to be honest. Is that what it's like to be a passenger in the new Ford F like F-150, would you say? Thank you for the biddies as well, Noble. Thank you. So we could get rhetoric up. Get another point in psychology. I literally have no idea. I'm going to go with... I'm gonna go with rhetoric. There we go. And, and a point social. Fuck it. I have no idea if this is right, but whatever. Let's go. Thank you, Noble. This has nothing to do with the F 150. Oh, my mistake. Sorry. 
So we snuck into the base, I guess. I wonder if we can get captured instead of sneaking in. Captain, not sorry to be back in the base. The unit that came back earlier told us there were casualties. Cassie. That's right, soldier. She did what had to be done to protect us all. Here. Anything to report while we were gone? Hey, Katie. How the you doing? The kid you brought back is already causing trouble. Rosie. Oh, if they lay one finger on her. We had to increase security. You have to give your full name now. You can't just use your badge. Seriously? Another new procedure? Davis knows you, Captain. He'll let you in, no hey, problem. Hey, Thank you, soldier. I'll be in the break room Choo -choo. if anyone's looking for me. I want to be here if my men need me. All right, Captain. <laughs> Lewd. Lewd. Oh, thank you again, Noble. Katie, the lewds must be spammed. How are you doing, by the way? You all good? New security protocol, soldier. We have to record everyone who goes into or comes out of the building. Please give us your full ID, first and last name, so I can verify your information. Your name is... Shit. I need a credible name. I need to get inside. Then I'll take time to finish up here. That'll be easier. Suit yourself. Hang in there, sweetie. Mommy's coming. Real subtle, Alicia. These meatbags are going to pay for dragging you back here. There are a lot of them. It won't be hard to blend in. Okay. Let's have a look around, I guess. Identify yourself to Private D for anything. He's the one who checks. Wait, Leisha's fucking tiny. Look at this. She's a small vampire. Tiny. Oh, what are you drawing? What are you drawing? Another one. I still love this game has working mirrors. Like. Like, this game's got a few bugs and stuff, but working mirrors is really burly. Ooh. Cream for bruises, painkillers. A bit small. A suitcase. Shit, it's locked. Okay, so I can open that. If I don't find a key, I can pick the lock. Can't open that one. Ooh, donuts. For a long time. So we can't use any of those names, I guess, because they'll know about the uh, that they've passed. Yes, soldier. Nicely done, Echo. <laughs> Such a pretty clever lyrics. We're working on, on a tabletop RPG character commission, but also sketching some Mass Effect. Oh, nice! Well, tell us, what kind of uh, commission is it? Is it like a uh, is it like a uh, like a D and D sort of type one? Hey, Gbunk. Were we able to bring anything of value back from this mission, Captain? Yes, soldier. Mission accomplished. We were able to recover usable samples of the solutions they were making to be injected. I hope that by giving these elements to the Society of St. Leopold, we'll be able to clean up Boston that much faster. Uh, the little girl we found? That's no kid. Do you know what they did with her, Captain? Agent Olsen must have taken her down to one of the labs. What will he do to her? No idea. But there's a reason he's Stanford's right-hand man. He's obsessed by the infected and won't pass up a chance to study them. Uh, I see. Why don't you draw some, bother you. No worries. I wonder if we can uh, listen on this conversation, maybe? No. Alright. What else we got around here, then? Ratties. Did I end up getting any less thingies? I found nine out of things that would reduce my suspicion, yet my suspicion went up by two. 
Oh, it's so bugged, I think. It's got some sci-fi setting called space, uh, Spaceships and Starworms. It uses 5e. Commissions of Vertebrates for one players. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> Above Space Orc, excellent. That sounds really fun. Are you going to post it when it's done, or is it like, an, is it like a pro one? Mm, I guess let's look around the docks first, in case there's anything obvious down here. I've got a report in the storage area. Same for the roof. We can start a new round. Not sure there's anything down here. We can copy this guy's uniform. There's no time for chit chat, soldier. These things can be dangerous. Dangerous. There's nobody to help me. I need to get a move on. I mean, that's what getting back back into the swing of things, right, Noble? Like, it's all about practice, isn't it? What's in all these containers? Not all the evidence they gathered about us. I hope. Can I help you? <laughs> They're gonna pay what they did for Holzer. Well, I think that's a good idea. I heard you talking earlier about the little girl we brought back. Oh, I can't wait to see that's it, Katie. A little girl hey, Huck. She's been infected. Yeah, yeah. Was there a problem? Must have been, because the security protocol changed. But nobody really knows what happened. What did they do with her? No idea. The SAD agents and St. Leopold guys are in charge of it. Oh. I didn't know that. Spooky eyes. We're not gonna spook him. I won't bother you any longer. See you later. I feel that we could probably use him to shoot shoot our way in, maybe, if we dominated them, but again, I feel that, uh, and no, I don't think, they, they don't know I'm a vampire, no, uh, the SO, at least not yet. So we need to get, do some information gathering, I guess. That's the same guy. Anything suspicious must be neutral. We've got orders. You did a great job over there. Oh, thanks. He knows how cool I am. Yo. Hello. Hey, how can I help hey, you? Hey, Renius. We're missing some patrol agents, aren't we? Two of them should be kicked down. I think it's a case of whether if you like this kind of game, like this adventure game, you'll really enjoy Swan Song. If you enjoy vampire as a setting, if you enjoy like very story-based games, I think you'll really enjoy it. Uh, I've really enjoyed it. it. Don't get me wrong, it's not perfect. Uh, there's some bugs and a few other bits and bobs that I hope they'll patch. But generally speaking, I've really had a thoroughly good time with it. I think it I think it uh, has limited itself in a few ways, which again, I hope they will change a smidge. But overall, it's been fun. It is hot outside, isn't it, Des? Too hot. Developers are really cute. There's only two of them. They get really excited when people post off their setting. Oh, that'd be awesome to, like, for them to actually say it. No, but maybe you should like do a like a, a Halo picture to like get back into the swing of things, or like a, a Star Wars, like uh, get sketching or something. Maybe I don't know. I don't know what the artist equivalent of like kicking the ball back around is. Where's my daughter? Damn it! Were you out on assignment tonight? No, I was guarding the base. I injured my shoulder on my last assignment. I got hit with a block of cement when one of these things came through the wall. The treatment in the locker, it's probably hers. You were lucky. That's what I tell myself when I see how many assets we've lost in just two days. Yeah, she got a great hair, aren't she? Yeah. Yeah, these are all set characters. Like this, unlike uh, other vampire games, this isn't like, um, Take the key for her lock. Interesting. We could actually just dominate her and get, get her to give her the key. We could try that actually. Um, yeah, it's an interesting one because um, we play as three set characters this game uh, that have uh, obviously their own uh, spooky face time. Give me the key for the lock on your bag. All right, here you go. Oh, thanks. I'd better go. We've got work to do. You know, I've never played Redemption. See you later. I've never played Redemption. I've been debating actually streaming it um, for the first time at some point and going through it and mucking around with it. 
Yeah, I don't think there's anything majorly wrong with Swanton. We can't be fixed with a patch or two. It's all right. He sent over the change of protocol, Captain. When did he specify that we need everyone? Is the roof about to start running? I'm not sure, to be honest. You know how to keep repeating yourself. Use the key. Think. Three Danvers. I could use that to get through the gate. Use a build guide for redemption. Is it like one of those sort of old schooly ones? Is it? Did they make a big deal of how your vampire powers didn't work on SI soldier? I guess it depends on the SI soldier. And maybe because she was wounded? I don't know. Your injury prevents you from wearing the equipment required for the field operations while you heal. You'll be assigned security detail guarding the pier. We can cur we can go the opinion of the base decision examine you who after your return from operation. Okay. Is there anything else in there? Or is that it? A Polaroid. Yeah, I think the game the game does the game has a few like animations that look a bit strange at times. Like Delson looking like he was fucking high as a kite and he was coming down really bad. Like Delson looked like he needed like a, like a few pints of water. But otherwise I think it's been uh alright. Like I really enjoy the story. Like I th I think it'd be really nice if you could potentially use more skills to uh trick the system. Interesting. So I guess we got a couple of ways of going in. Maybe we can go this way as well. Or not. So potentially we can go through here maybe? A lock picking tool. It looks like we should be able to get through here. But... Hey, Jemroth. Yeah, having a new game plus in this would make it really, really fun. Like, on top of that. Wait, why does that go on the roof? So you can climb up the ladder there, and there's a there's an upper walkway. Okay, there's a catwalk. You seriously do not care about your co-workers to do something like that. What? Somebody's very mad. The stockage area is full. I couldn't do better with all these crates. Oh, personal belongings. Oh, what a mess. Yeah, they, uh, they use some kind of headphones to dominate attempts. If they're not wearing headphones, uh, in theory, we could get away with it. So we could potentially pick the lock here if we wanted to. Prioritize uh, major elements, label them with their number, record the inventory on the computer, brief description, transfer location, cons if needed, your first and last name, time recorded. Okay. You think they'd have to be? Yeah, Got a locker key. Yeah, Everything's all right here. Nothing to report. Move the crane. Interesting. She was in the locker. I wonder if fucking. I always kind of wonder if fucking around in this kind of stuff. Uh, we'll get us in trouble. Like I wonder if there, there is like, a, like a dodgy trouble clinic. I swear they change the code every morning. With the new security code, they change the codes again. And obviously, it's someone to get the memory. It's getting old. We spend most of the morning filling out their damn papers and protocols to get the right code. So here it is. Try to forget it, and they're like being buried in the piles of paperwork. Okay. Uh, we need to write that down. I'll just take a picture of it. You're the safety dance of repeat all day. You can dance. You can dance. Everybody doing the dance. So I guess the computer will have the code. I'm guessing it's this. Right. Uh, I literally just took a picture of this. I've got this picture. I, I, I can't find it under all these pictures of this cat I took the other day that was following me around. Eight, six, one. It was a very cute cat though, to be fair. They robbed us blind. Documents, laboratory, analysis, bottles, deteriorated human corpses. More names? 
Stored on the dock until transfer, control protocol. Okay, so we've actually got a few options available to us potentially, but the first cargo transport is almost ready now. You're not authorized to handle that. Alright, fair enough. I guess I have to be a warehouse worker to do that. We've got to lock down the area. Yeah. Nothing to report here. If you want to play Star Wars Galaxy Emulator, apparently the early game is very difficult. I never played Star Wars Galaxies. I only ever heard of it after it went to shit. Like, I mean, I knew of the game, but, you know, I never never played it or anything. Oh, can we get up that ladder? No, it's locked. Okay. I mean, I guess we could probably get through here now. What if there's a... Sorry, excuse me. Come through. Ah, we got a safe room, so I could nom somebody if I need to. Mm. Do you reckon we should bother moving the crane and try exploring that way as well? We could, I suppose we always munch the guy after the fact, couldn't we? There we go. So let's go change our uniform. We'll need to change it back afterwards, but... Whee! Looking good, Leisha. Alright, let's go. I need to suck that guy off, though. I'm going to quickly do it now, before I forget. I need to I'll be like, I need you to come with me. Very well. Me over here. Time to give him the suck. Yeah. Ah. yeah. Oh. Oh. Delicious. How far into you in the game? I just joined the stream. Uh, this is fairly close to the end, I'd wager, Lord Ender. Very, fairly, fairly close to the end, I'd say. Delicious. Thank you very much for the uh, the resub. Thank you for the 26. Very, very much appreciate it. Thank you. How? Yes. How'd you do, fellow warehouse worker? Go take a hike. Go scan the horizon to the north. I... I'm going. Good riddance. Good luck to the night shift. Sadly, we, sorry we did what we could. Sad face. All right, let's go check out what we moved. Honestly, with MMOs, especially if you're playing an MMO that's like more niche than the really, really mainstream ones, so like not like, basically not to World of Warcraft, you'll find that most people are really friendly. Just strike a conversation with people. And if it doesn't go well, pretend to be, uh, pretend to be like, you know, from, like, Belgium or something. You can't speak English. Hmm, is that it? I figured there'd be something else back here, but I guess not. I'm not entirely sure that, that was worth five, five hunger points to do that. The Tremere Concoction. Which eliminates two hung hunger. I mean, that's kind of handy, but I don't know if that's worth. Maybe doing that has moved the crane over there. No, I don't think so. Hmm. Can I move it again? That did seem like a lot of work for a small thing. There must be something else, maybe. Be no? for it. Be ready, just in case.
RS Delta. So we're up to 500 again. But to be fair, we actually need to we need to do this anyway. So there we go. Oh, I see if I can blag my way through this now. Let's try. Want to go in this time? I'm listening. Shit. No, not yet. What was the lady's name? I can't believe I forgot. <laughs> Bree Danvers. That was it. I could use that to get through the gate. It can be Bree. You think you would know who Bree was, but you know, we'll try it. See if we get us murdered. Wanna go in this time? I'm listening. I'm listening. Danvers, Bree. Great. Everything's in order. You can go in. Oh, hurry up. There's no time to waste. Wow, that was easy. Thanks, dude. Case. I don't have a minute to lose. Where is Halsey? They're gonna use more than Dom one. Oh, really? Wonder why. You heard the orders. We've got to take the kid down to the lab. You are here. Oh, Halsey. In case of fire, do not use the elevators. Okay, that's wise. I'm surprised they don't have any like infrared scanners all over this place. To be honest, the burrow operation area. One of your men isn't feeling well, right? They had time to plan it all. Mm. We were careless. That's how they found us. There's, there's quite a lot of uh, evidence here, isn't there? Demonstrate my entire cooperation. Please find in, uh, an attached information about the targets whose capture is guaranteed if you follow my instructions. Letter. Be ready on October twenty-first. Corvus. Saint Leopold. They will burn. I wonder if it's like an oversight, brethren. I don't know. Danvers, Nigel. No, not that guy. Brie Larson plays Carol Danvers. It could actually be a letter reference, couldn't it? Not standard procedure. I mean, honestly, KT, that's the best advice in general. My 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 two advice for MMO players: if you're not sure what to do, if you're tanking, pretend you know what you're doing. If that fails, uh, again, once again, just don't, you don't speak English. Easy peasy. Like if someone says like, "Why did you pull that? Are you an idiot?" You just go "Sweet?" Question mark. Sweet. Uh, no ing? Question mark. It works all the time. Sweet. Sweet. If they speak Swedish, you have to swap tax, and then you go into bul 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 bulk, bulk question mark. And now, even worse, like me and Rufa found out once, if you pretend that you're from uh, Bulgaria, but uh, they actually speak Bulgarian, then you've got a problem. So you have to immediately all F4. That's the only reasonable thing to do at that point. If they speak every language, you just pull the plug out on your internet. Then you just claim that not only do you not speak any language, that the internet broke. We've received the confidential information you sent today. We hereby inform you that, as requested, Monsignor Stanford will be arriving on the 17th. He'll be permanently assigned to your region by the Society St. Leopold as of today, till he feels that his presence is no longer necessary. Monsignor Stanford will send you the drawings requested by your engineers, followed by two containers of equipment. There's nothing in the they asked Europe for help. In light of the latest activities, we accept your request for logistical and technical support. Attach the list of equipment we'll be sending this month. Specimen transport containers, tier 2 and tier 3 models. Anticoagulant guns. Production drawings, secure storage containers. Monsignor Stanford and four members of his unit will become to train your teams one week per month from this day forward. Your engineers will be able to ask questions they may have for them. This is uh. How am I gonna sort uh, the bastard who sold us out? Sure did a solid job. Wait, Beryl's gone X. Wait, is Beryl dead? <laughs> oh, 
Mildred. Mildred. Everell. So the, someone would have had to take these pictures. What the post it say? It says uh, warning by batteries. They brought back photo souvenirs of the carnage. Oh, they deserve to die too. Hey, Mary. Oh, thank you again, Noble. Bad shot Bob can now spam deliciously because of your generosity. Thank you so much. How's it going? Yeah, it's going alright. We're just discussing the best ways to duck out of an MMO uh, uh, MMO group if people uh, if you do something wrong. Remember, the key is you don't speak whatever language they speak. That's the easiest thing. Administrative documents which allow us to find new leads and thus locate, locate new infection sites. Artifacts, usually ob objects or jewellery that require in-depth study by society. Several blank body specimens are good condition for research and tests. Should be noted that one container has disappeared, which lets us believe that an infected wasn't still on site. Pieces and residue of blank body specimens which allow us to broaden our knowledge and stages the infection's evolution. Corvus. Targets. Who gave them this intel? Following the advance contact from Corvus, command is launching Operation Nest. The deployment of the response teams at uh, midnight was follow the strategic elements uh, previously communicated at one international place in Boston, where the targets will be occupying the penthouse apartment. As expected, the operation will need to block access to the building and exterior simultaneously. See, this bugs me. Who's missing on this that's major? I mean, Beryl's on there, so I guess it's in theory. I mean, there's an X on him? Which maybe means do not take, or it might mean they bagged him. Hilda's not on there. So out of the primogen, Hilda's not there. To Jan is, Beryl is. Delson's there, Hazel's there, Richard's there. Caleb, is, well, he's not part of the primogen, but. How am I gonna sort this? Uh, April's not there. Yeah, La Laisha, Laisha was probably a non-factor because she's been in the uh, hospital for a long time. So I'm not overly surprised that Laisha's not on there. That's not standard procedure. Those look like ink cartridges. Oh sweet, we can fucking get an Epson printer going. Those look like ink cartridges. MM is also missing, yeah. Interesting. Realistically, do I think the traitor would be one of the player characters? It's possible, but I think it's unlikely. Operation Burrow. Unit mobilized under the command of Captain Collins. Shit. They're really organized. Operation Swan Song. They threw that all together in less than 24 hours. Nest allowed us to locate a second source of infection in the basement on Cellar Street. Corvus has confirmed this is a food distribution and research facility. Mission objectives. Possible spare the lives of any civilians being held under duress. Capture or eliminate infected targets. Gather all potential sources of information. The operation will be launched simultaneously from main entrance and the sewers. They'd found both exits. We didn't stand a chance. A map of the basement. They knew about everything. Wow, they even knew about Richard's like super secret like bum dungeon. Shit. Bumgeon. They even had the layout of the red salon. You smell a rat. I mean, we obviously we've been sold out. Yeah, we've been sold out. One of theirs took herself out. Their damn containers. That could even Not the Bumgeon. The most terrifying and place. Barrel. Huh, if they're blowing themselves up, that's good news for us. As it, Casey Hassan was lost during Operation Burrow. She apparently detonated her explosive safety belt to protect the rear end of the subunit from an infected person. The body was recovered from the rubble. Captain Collins will contact the family tomorrow. Oh shit. I should have gotten rid of the Jadax. I tried, Laisha. I tried. 
The game would not let me. I desperately tried. Player cards tend to be bad. It's incredibly difficult to pull off. No one thinks one time will do it. David Cage tried and ended up making the most confusing and cheap twist. Yeah. Fucking David Cage. David Cage was too busy concerning about Madison's fucking nipples in the shower scene. Printing pause. Report captured child. Ink level. Not enough ink. Okay. Let's go get the ink cartridge then, I guess. Oh god, I'm back at work! What the fuck? Boo! Aren't generation differences vampires basically insurmountable? How am I gonna sort this? We are missing a redhead. Maybe I'm gonna make sure we should go. D uh, not insurmountable per se, but it's certainly difficult. The thing is, like, while vampires obviously inherently get, like, additional strength from generation and blood potency, they still have to be good at what they do. It would be like being the world's strongest man versus an equal, like, a fairly strong man, but the fairly strong man has been trained by some sort of fucking, by the Batman or something. <laughs> like, yeah, you could be as strong as shit, but if you don't know how to land a punch, you're not going to get a lot done. That must be Halsey. They're going to regret treating her like that. Did I successfully evade the random basement murderer in Heavy Rain? The random basement murderer? Uh, I don't know, because for a lot I fell back Heavy Rain. Weren't we intentionally failing everything <laughs> to make it look like because it would be being a clown? I forgot. No, it is possible. Like, the thing is, uh, higher generation vampires can kill lower generation vampires. There's lots of different ways they could do it. They could trap them. Uh, they could... They could, you know, uh, use explosives. They could catch them while they're arresting. Uh, there's, like, lots of different ways they potentially could catch them off guard. Hell, they could be super trusted and then just go in for the kill. You know, again, it, it's a case of you could be as strong as you like, but if you get caught off guard, it's still going to be difficult. Ven eventually, once the generations get strong enough, I think it probably... Like, if you're talking, like, could a, could a 13th gen potentially... Low generation trust. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, they get, they get, they tend to get a little bit, uh, a little bit twitchy by that point. In theory, like, w like you know, could a thirteenth generation like damage a sixth generation? <laughs> no, probably not. Like, and once a vampire gets old enough and gets powerful enough, they get, they get fucking nutty. Like, they get absolutely terrifyingly scary. Like, some of the older vamps like make the werewolves look like, like fragile little babies. That's what, that, that's what can make them really nasty. There's a character Madison goes to for info- Oh, no, no, I do remember, yeah. No, didn't didn't we decide to fucking nope out of there? Didn't we just nope out of there in the end because it was like super gribbly? Just gonna get a drink, folks. That's not standard procedure. Yeah, because with the generations, it's how close you are to Kane, right? So, first generation is Kane. Second don't exist anymore. The third is the Antediluvians. Which I believe Befren described before as uh, before the Flood. Yeah, I believe it's the, what the word means. Aren't these guys around 10th at most? Most of them, uh, I think Galeb's... Is Galeb 12th or 11th? It might be 11th. In fact, why are we guessing? Uh, hold on. Uh, during Operation Burrow, Captain Collins captures a rare specimen. The subject has the appearance of a child, female, approximately 8. The absence of blood during capture, the complexion and the aggressiveness reported by the team indicates it's an infected humanoid. If we go to... MM is 12, Galeb is 11, and Laisha is 12. In uh, the new version of Bloodlines, Sorry, the new version of Vampire V5. Uh, they also... It's not just generation. 
is not just generation. Uh, blood potency slash age as well is quite a big deal for them. So while Galeb is 11th generation, his sheer age gives him an advantage over lots of the other vampires. Like, I think Hazel is 10th generation. Um, but that, you know, that wouldn't really bother Galeb, like, in that sort of sense. But I don't think Galeb would ever move against his prince, because that's not who he is. But you know what I mean. The pro the pro tag from um, Bloodlines would oh the pro tag from Bloodlines would absolutely shit can everybody on this place. They could walk through the second Inquisition base, brutally beating people to death with a, with a floppy arm, kicking people through walls. Uh, I mean when when you actually think when you actually look at the stats that they get later, if you take um, Bethune's Gangrel play for as an example, uh, because that's the one I saw recently. Uh, if you've got five Protean, five Fortitude. That makes you, again, bear in mind that Five Fortitude uh, lets you walk into the sun. Like, that that's how strong, like, some of the vampires can get. Like, it doesn't let them be out very long, but that doesn't matter. That Like, a supernatural weapon, uh, like the sun, you, they can ignore it briefly. Uh, it, it would hurt, sure, but they could do it. Um... They are bulletproof, they are stab-proof. Uh, with 425, you could shoot them with a tank, and it wouldn't work. You can walk in space. I mean, they could. They do, do massive emotional damage, tell them they don't love them. Oh, the, oh that's awful. Bethrin's been doing a low play- Oh, it's so, it's so dreadful. Bethrin's been doing a low humanity playthrough of Bloodlines, and... Heather comes up to the vampire and goes like, Master, I got this for you because I love you. D do you love me? And his vampire's like, No, you're like a useless waste of flesh ghoul. If you die, I'll just replace you with another one. And she's like, Okay, but I but I love you, Master. Here, I got you this body armor. And Beth's vampire just goes, Is that all you got for me? And she just goes, Yes. It's like, oh my god, somebody please give this girl a hug. Jesus Christ. Absolutely horrible. You can actually see the moment where she dies and dies inside. Apparently Tori Adorable is something to do with the sun itself. That it's uh, space, as what I've um, Anon told me once. He was quite knowledgeable on these things. What the fuck? Yeah, literally it's awful. It's dreadful. I'd play you the clip, but I need—I haven't recovered myself from seeing it last time. Horrible. Yeah, but point point being, generation does matter. One generation different of this uh, when they're all this high. So, uh, for example, Hil let's say for example, if MM wanted to fight with Hilda, Hilda being eleventh gen compared to twelfth could be a problem. But if MM has mastered more skills or has worked her disciplines c correctly compared to Hilda, then MM could win a fight. For example, could could MM take the pro tag from Bloodlines? Absolutely not. They would smear the fucking ceiling with them. But the pro the Bloodlines protagonist is spooky anyway. Then not only are they like a low gem, but their blood potency is through the fucking roof. Like for example, when when Prince Lacroix sends you into a Sabat hideout with about 90 Sabat vampires in there. And the worst thing that happens is you get a little bit of dust on your suit. Uh, all of them collectively shit themselves. The prince shits themselves next time they see you. Ming Zhao shits herself when she realizes what's happened. Nobody wants to deal with that mess. Everybody immediately starts maneuvering to position going like, Right, we need to... F this is a problem. We, this, this vampire will not die. We've got an issue. There is not many vampires that can do that. Like, just, even even if you flat out ignore the sort of, it's a video game thing, it's an RPG perspective, that the idea they walked in there and basically just ripped apart, uh, not only a load of Sabat, but the fucking, uh, I think they called him the, the, uh, the, the bishop? Or an abbot? I forget what, I forget what, um, Andre would be. They've got, like, weird, they got, like, weird, uh, ranks. He's a bishop, right? And, and, um, he's eighth, I think. I think he's an 8th Samishi that's been around for a very long time. Lewd. What gen is in Bloodlines? 8. 8. There's nothing in the naming system. I knew it. I believe you... I forget. Do you... 
you start at eight and go down to seven, or you start as nine and go down to eight. I forget what it is. It's something. It's something horrendous. First gen. First gen's Kane, and Kane's basically a god. Yeah. He might as well be god. Like that. That's he's that sort of powerful oh in the in the lore. You have a maximum of 15, which makes you 8th, yeah? Mind you going full dark side in Knights of the Republic, you get a pair of companions early in the game, one of whom swears a life debt to you. When you go full evil, you can force the indebted companions to murder his friend. Oh my That's god! <laughs> Absolute monster! That's pretty funny, though. His powers came straight from God, yeah? Kane got a unique curse himself, though. He's got a- he's like a- he's like a- he can never- it's something like he can never call anywhere his home or something like that? He, he, he can never settle. Like cursed as a nomad or something like that. Honey, there was a terrible idea. Operation Hunt. Oh, Blood Hunt, nice. Oh, it's a wolf! It's a wolf! I think that's his tail or that he's got a furry penis. Could be both. They're suspicious of everything. I was regretted by sad high command. I'll tell you, I was sad high command with that fucking header clip that Bethran had. Jesus. Uh, investigations were able to cross-reference sources from the various departments in the territory to compile a timeline of cold cases in the area around Blue Hills. These cases mainly concentrated at the site of the Chemical Growth and Co., a petroleum company specializing in chemical fertilizers and genetically modified seeds. We conclude that with certainty the nighttime perimeter observation protocol is required. Wolves. A furry dingle dongle. Jeanette Therese is sick. I think they're seventh. Jeanette and Therese are seventh, I thought. They're very old That's though. They're very old. Procedure. Nighttime trespassing at Chemical Co. Damage to snack. Damage to staff vehicles at the, perif the periphery of the site. Nighttime trespassing at Chemical Co. Damage to a snack. Fire at the new Blue Wood Sawmill. This is the Wolf. This is the Wolf doing stuff. Employee admitted to the psychiatric hospital. Diagnosed as a burnout. His medical records mention hallucinations. In the naming system. I knew it. Destruction of barrels of raw materials and the surveillance system. Damage to construction equipment on the building site near University Avenue. Disappearance of a chemical engineer. Fire in the finished goods cargo area. More nighttime trespassing. Destruction of barrels of raw materials on the surveillance system. Destruction of logging equipment. Murder of the vice president of chemical growth. Yeah, that's that's some wolf shit. Huh. They trapped him for a long time without giving. Lude. Interesting. It was one wolf, which is rare to have a wolf completely by itself. New disease. Maybe they don't know what the wolf wolves are. It's amazing they captured him, actually. Help from Europe. These bastards are everywhere. How strong is your average werewolf compared to a vampire? It depends. If we're talking an average werewolf compared to an average vampire, so your 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 sort of bog standard werewolf versus your bog standard vampire. So your bog standard vampire is a thirteenth gen vampire. Uh, your average werewolf is absolutely terrifyingly stronger. Like a standard werewolf can rip like a tank in half. It can uh, it can like pull metal sheets off buildings. It's basically bulletproof. Uh, it's it's incredibly incredibly strong. Like they they are incredibly strong. They can shapeshift into multiple forms. Yeah, they they are they are absolutely incredible. Basically, the way to look at the wolves, the wolves will peak. Basically, wolves are stronger initially compared to your your sort of starting point for a vampire, but they peak sooner. Whereas the later vampires are like terrifying, godlike nightmares. Whereas the wolves like sort of peter out a little bit. It, yeah, that's that's a video game thing, because basically no. With the wolf in Bloodlines, considering its size, because that's from what I read, it that's a Krinos form werewolf. It's about seven feet tall, which is pretty small for a wolf, which is pretty small. So it's probably a younger wolf, uh, a eighth, seventh slash seventh gen, uh, uh, gen vampire, which I think you end up. I think you end as seventh, uh, if if we look at what happens with you. Uh, would, would just rip that werewolf to pieces. But my argue, my headcanon for that is, 
a lot of a lot of the reasons why you're not just like I don't know punching through metal buildings yourself as a, as the vampire is that you're still new. You don't quite know what you can do. You don't know what sort of punishment you can take. You just saw nine someone you sort of uh, who's been teaching you things immediately get shit canned. That's not standard. You reckon it, you reckon there's nine for your hunch? I suppose it could be. I suppose it could be. He's still he's still pretty small compared to John Video Games. If you remember what John Video Games looked like from um, Werewolf the Apocalypse, he was he was absolutely fucking enormous when he transformed. How am I gonna sort this? We love John Video Games. He was a good man. He was bold and angry. He was a fine man. Honestly, I've said this before. The Werewolf the Apocalypse game is probably one of the most fun, terrible games I've ever played. It's 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 objectively a terrible game. It really is not very good. However, it is probably one of those games that really you do feel like John Video Games, the Werewolf Man, because you transform and you could literally go AFK, and these guys will get a mini gun out. They'll be throwing bazooka shots at you, and he's just like, hmm, that tickles a little bit. That's that's pretty cute. You could just you could just watch him for a bit, and he's just the bullets go ping 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 ping. It's like it's great. Like you have a lot of fun with that. I love him. How am I gonna sort this? The equivalent of sending out a single XCOM soldier to alien assault base, having them kill everything in the base, come out without a single scratch on them, and twice the gear and ammo they had when they entered, you'd be like, damn. Unless unless those unless those vampires are freakishly strong, that's normally the case. Again, younger, a younger werewolf will probably lose to an, an older experienced vampire, potentially. But what the biggest thing that... Hey, pumpkin. The biggest thing that the wolves have against them, there's a lot less of them. There isn't that many vampires, all things considered, but there's a lot more of them than there are werewolves. Also, from what I understand, it's a lot easier to make a new vampire than it is to make a new werewolf. Oh, sorry. I didn't, uh, mess, I didn't mean to miss your booties there, Noble. Let me scroll up. Oh, well, thank you very much. There's a companion in Knights of the Republic 2 that has this really traumatic past where he served the bad guys and hunted Jedi. One Jedi sought him out and fought tooth and nail to bring him back to light before she died. When you find a companion, though, you can corrupt him and tell him the Jedi was tricking him to weakness. This will make him your appren the apprentice and render the entire sacrifice Jedi pointless. God, that's awful. I love it. Like, I do love when you can do horrible things like that. Wolves hunt in packs, Arisen. The vampire side, the protag. See, my head cannon for that. My head cannon for that is. Um, They've been collecting anything that seems out of the ordinary to them for a long time. My head cannon for the uh, siring. It, there's, there's, there's two. There's my again. This is pure head cannon, but this is how I like to think it is. So either it's an extremely powerful vampire who's basically deciding to uh, commit suicide, essentially, um, who's had enough, or. It's a vampire who's been dominated by another more powerful vampire. Who's been instructed to sire. And that would explain why the vampire doesn't resist. Why the vampire gets staked so easily. Why the vampire doesn't even make a squeak when they're getting executed. That's my sort of thought behind it. Hey, Dosrix. Welcome back. That's not standard procedure. Yeah, the Krino the Krinos form is terrifying. Like John Video Games, John Video Games, for example, in Apocalypse would would shit can every single vampire in Bloodlines, including the Fledgling. Absolutely shit can a lot of them. Like John Video John Video Games is absolutely terrifying. Like, he he is a big burly fucking scary ass werewolf. Ter like really 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 aggressively nasty. Not standard procedure. Codex entry, Wolof. Vampires are far from the only monsters dwelling in the night. Oh, it doesn't say anything much about them. That's a bit sad. Alright. I guess we should look around a little bit more. We got any uh, com computers? Oh, there's a computer over here we can look around with. The vampire side of the project is just a nexus of mysterious implications. Yeah, I mean, again, you got to. I think you have to make your own like thoughts and sort of headcanon on, on how that played out. I, I again, I like to think 
that a more powerful vampire dominated them into Siren. Huh. I need a file number if I want access. A file number? Did I get a file number from that printout? I wonder. Oh, did I, did I pick it up already? No. Okay. Let's have a look around. I've got orders. You have to wait here. This guy's called the Fubii. Private San Diego is in isolation. Why? Because no one questions. can find her. <laughs> I've got orders. That's all. <laughs> Where in the world does she go? What a mystery. <laughs> Lude. All right. Okay, so we could copy his uniform, or we can tell him to piss off. Private San Diego. Nobody's allowed in. Sorry. Where on earth could she be? Where on earth? Alright. Oh, thank you again, Noble. Of oh, both for the biddies and the gift sub. Nice your problem is really fun, and the evil options are amazing, mustachely twirling nonsense. On the one hand, I like the comical nature, on the other hand, the dark side. The dark side in lore is far more about subterfuge, cunning, and lying than stepping on puppies and cackling. The thing is, bad, bad, baddie things normally are, right? Like, a lot, a lot of the time. Like, ooh. A lot of the time, being a bad guy is, is less about, like. You know, moustache twirling and like sh blowing up kittens with cannons. The other part is a problem because it breaks all the vampire rules for it to function. Uh, kind of. You, I think there's reasonable explanations for a fair whack of it. You can, you can just go, yeah, video games. But you could also say an insane blood potency, low generation, and um, and manipulation from another spooky person. All, all of which involve. A reasonable sort of uh, thing. I think I think you have to sort of accept the fact that the game embellishes like the amount of enemies that are in there. Would there probably be 90 Sabat vampires in one crummy little hotel? Probably not. That does seem a little bit excessive. Could, would there realistically more be like more like 10 or 15? Probably. You know that that kind of stuff. One of Halsey's drawings. Battered with blood. I love blood. That means she's been here. I need to hurry. Uh, who did that? I, I don't understand. Thank you so much, Noble. Again, very kind of you, dude. Oh, what's this? Pierce Obfuscate. There's a secret. An illusion. What are you hiding? Oh, hello. Shit! Richard! Wait! Calm down! Hey, Richard. Richard. You shouldn't be here. Leave, now! My daughter exists. You lied to me. And even worse, you let them bring her here. My daughter. Listen, now is neither the time nor the place. Stop it! Enough! I don't give a shit about where we are, how dangerous it is, or anything else. You stole Halsey from me! You made me forget everything! Why did you do it? I did it to protect both of you, of course! You caused too much of a stir within the court because of your gifts. They're both your strength and your greatest We must try and understand why? No! That's not gonna work anymore, Richard. Ugh, your excuses that only you alone understand. Oh, what danger could have been so great that you felt like you had to separate us, lie to us, and manipulate us like you did? It, it's because of the prince! Defend. Persuasion attempt. I can't do that. I guess I ain't, I ain't got any persuasion of him. My hunger's looking a bit dodgy. I might, uh, I'm kind of tempted to chomp some, uh... Hmm. Well, we'll see. I might take one of these because it's looking a bit dodgy. There we go. Oh, that sounds the right motive. 
Sounds like a proper nice chill evening. I haven't played Knights of the Republic in like a billion years. I never, I never played it to the end either. She called for Halsey's head about three years ago. She said she was a dangerous liability, and she probably wanted to put me in my place. She ordered me to do it, but I couldn't. I had to make everyone believe I'd destroy her. For both your sakes. Believe it or not, I've always been helping you. What about Halsey? What did you tell her? The guy's face is freaking that, out. He is a little bit, yeah. you had been destroyed. I had no other choice. I had to find a way to keep her safe and stop her from looking for you. When you talk about safety, do you mean hers? Or yours? All of yours. Well... <laughs> both, actually. But do you realize the harm you caused her? Laisha, these feelings you both have, that twisted vestige of your humanity, it's your illness. It's what I've been trying to treat for all these years. I never asked you to do that. I trusted you, and you tricked us. You let those mortals bring her here, and that... It's the Second Inquisition, Leisha. I'm here on the Prince's orders. My assignment concerns everyone. We have to fight them. Halsey can't be our priority. This guy's a shitter. The fate of the Boston Camarilla, and your fate as well, is at stake here. And you're the one who's supposed to save us? I can sense your anger, but don't make a mistake. We'll all regret. Hazel believes I'm our last hope to defeat the SI and protect the masquerade. Your thirst for vengeance would lead to your doom. And horses. Is that all? I sense that you're afraid of me. She's pretty pissed. You're right to be afraid. I think this is the only time we've seen her this yes. angry. But I'm even more afraid of the SI. And you should be too. If you're the reason our plan should fail, you'll both pay the price. Just think. You know, I think he's gaslighting us. So what do you reckon, folks? Are we gonna let Richard get away with it, or are we, uh... It's gonna say in Boston, yeah! Are you from Boston, really? It is full of vampires. Do you reckon should bin him? Kick his butt? He seems super shady. He's been full of shit. Off with him. He's casting me. <laughs> Fucking Casey mods. If Hazel was working with him, why would she send you out without telling you manipulating on you? Possibly make you kill him? Mm hmm. It's tricky, isn't it? Tricky, tricky, tricky. You know, Richard's been full of shit this entire game. He's a monster who abducts people off the streets and experiments on them until they die. I kind of feel like out of character. He like everything's been manipulated, but nothing's been severe. True, though he keeps wiping Lacia's memory over and over again, which is pretty pretty brutal. That that's the game. That's the game. He saves whole zoom. Alright, I'm gonna pull it. I'm gonna pull it. Hold on. Alright, folks. Go on. Let's see. What do you reckon?
Oh, it's actually pretty close. It's pretty close. Quite a lot for killing him. But a decent amount of people wanted to let him leave too. I'll give, uh, I'll give it another 20 seconds, so if you got, anyone else wants to vote. It's getting pretty close. 11 for destroy, 8 for leave. So there's not a huge amount in it. What about me? Mm, if we have to add to it, I would vote to destroy him. I think he's been a gaslighting sack of shit this entire game. He's been manipulating us the entire way through. He's a piece of shit. And I think uh, Leisha would be better off without him. Whether that's true or not, that's just kind of what, how I feel. That's just me. Again, I could be wrong. Could be wrong. He could be doing this all for the greater good. But uh, I'm going to follow this and fuck him. Alright. The democracy is chosen. Goodbye, Richard. Don't let the uh, the door hit your ashes on the way out, motherfucker. I don't want to listen to you anymore. It's over. So be it. I won't let anybody tell me what to do anymore. I bet that was satisfying. That wouldn't kill him. Mm. Kind of hard to say, to be honest. You got what you deserved. For me. And Halsey. Wait, isn't this the... You must know where Halsey is. Isn't this the guy we met at the apartment? Like, the apprentice? Olsen's key, yeah, I thought so. <sighs> no regrets. No remorse. I think I've aced your last lesson, Richard. Well, don't forget, Richard wasn't a vampire who fought. Like, he never used physical strength. He never... That's exactly what I was talking about earlier. He Like, you can be physically stronger due to your generation, sure. But if you never, ever actually utilize your vampiric skills for combat, you're gonna... You're just gonna be a really strong, like... You're gonna be a really strong dude. Le Leisha actively went out on mission sent by the prince. Like... Agent... I met Olsen. It is 07 a.m. on September 6, 2019. I now proceed to interrogate. Wait, Agent Olsen! What now? Halbert, he doesn't look too good. Interesting. September 6, 2019. 048 a.m. The subject has surpassed my expectations. Although childlike in appearance and neutralized, hey, she Mom. demonstrates incredible telepathic abilities. Monsignor ordered that she be weakened before her transfer to the Vatican. We will leave her in a high security container in lab L-04 in basement 4 in the hope that my hypothesis is correct and she will gradually lose her ability to cause harm. Lab L-04 basement 4. Finally. Hang on, sweetheart. I'm coming. Gross. Could a normal human done that? No, almost certainly not. Like, you gotta remember, even though, it, I mean, with the animations of the game, it's a little bit, like, slower. But you gotta remember, these guys can punch through sheet metal. Like, that, that's that's the thing. Like, as Jack puts it, like, you can... Don't go juggling dumpsters outside your apartment or outrun the 735 to Sacramento. Like, you... They are, they are a lot stronger than they look. And don't forget, uh, that's... Uh, with enough pressure, that would have been enough to kill a vampire. Like, the fledgling from Bloodlines, they sneak up behind a Sabat vampire, and they just go behind them and go, and then they get dusted. 
Push. I'll make them pay for what they've done to us all. Found the source. Telepathy? Link? Submissive and blind. Should he poof into dust? Immortal. It depends. Uh, from what I understand, they should age rapidly after their death. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if they all immediately dust or not. I think in V five they don't tend to because that we. This is can, this is uh, consistent with earlier in the game, where some of the vampires who were dead were not uh, were not dusted yet. Uh, it, it seemed it seems like it's not quite as instant in this one. The fan won a prize or something to spar one of the fighters, but the fan was a massive, overweight, bold of a man. The fighter got absolutely smashed. Give him credit though; he was laughing in astonishment when they got up. I mean, yeah, that's it exactly. Yeah, you know, sometimes uh, sometimes physical strength will be enough, other times less so. Are we looking for our daughter? We are. We are. May they age rapidly to their natural age. I think that's exactly what it is. So really old vampires immediately turn to dust because they're so, they're so like bitch ancient. Doom I'm bound, like the convict to his chain. Spooky. Shit. They were going to torture her. I came close, but I admit it was too risky. My hands are shaking. We captured a child, or at least she looks like one. As she wasn't being brought back, to, as she's being brought to the base, restrained by the security protocol, some people showed. I can't describe it exactly. Strange sensations. I thought she might be a telepathic specimen, and Monsignor agreed to let me interrogate her under strict security conditions. Before I could even get started, a soldier committed suicide right in front of our eyes. As soon as the child came out of the container, and she was still immobilized by the stake, it was beyond my wildest speculation. However, I'm certain she must be suffering from a mental disorder, as per my working hypothesis. Here it could be anxiety disorder, the confined space, the interrogation equipment, the soldiers close to her. She sensed their stress and surely their hostility towards her. If I had known, I would have put would have put in a place a more appropriate protocol. The Monsignor and the senior staff decided to take her down and put her in isolation while we find a solution. In order to keep the staff safe, I hope I get the chance to study her again. According to Hunter, Hunter the parenting, the bodies generate into a state as if they've been dead since they're embraced. Yeah, which makes sense. Yeah. Again, it depends how quick it is. Or, you know, if, we, if we're going to... If we're going to be realistic, it's possible they didn't animate it. They, they, you know, they decided not to. Or, it's a big ruse and Rich is not actually dead. But, uh, being a vampire, I'm pretty sure Leisha would know if he was not dead. If he was dead or not. She's a child of Malkav. What have they done to her? Michelle Davis. Operation Nest. Agent Olsen handling the case. He suspected BB Type 4 with telepathic abilities. The subject underwent Agent Olsen's mental conditioning protocol for an uh, in initial three-hour session. As instructed, the subject is given one-hour mental and physical conditioning session every two hours. The initial results are encouraging. The subject is frightened when we approach. Like Godbrand. Oh, I haven't seen that yet. Jesus Christ, spoilers. Fuck. Did we do that one already? Since ancient times have been engravings, tales, and songs of telecommunication through the mind, of magical and supernatural powers performed by, uh, using mental f uh, faculties, but it wasn't until 1882 that Frederick William Henry Myers used the term telepathic hallucinations to speak of the phenomenon by which an individual's mind influences that of another. Myers based his work on a handful of observations, which were quite convincing, made in France between 1825 and 1850. The researcher laid the foundations of the experimental study of telepathy and the paranormal more generally. I learned from Monsignor that the Society of St. Leopold owed many of his advances to his work. Therefore, I'm going to carefully study his works in order to support my theory of the telepathic symptom at certain stages of the evolution of the infectors and the bank bodies. I mean, they the St. Leopold people don't see the vampires as living creatures in that sense. That, that's the thing, right? Like, whether... I mean, one of them we discovered was an absolute fucking monster. Uh, did we read this one already? We spoke at length with Monsignor Stanford upon return from Boston, as he, rep as he informed of us of your interest in joining the Order. The situation in Boston does indeed warrant exploring the possibility of expanding our presence in the region. However, you must understand that being a member of the Society of St. Leopold takes precedence over any other commitment. This entails self-sacrifice, perseverance, and discretion on your part. 
Monsignor Sanford will be returning to the region and has granted approval to ordain you as a novice. You place under his authority for the duration of your novitate. Did I do this one already? Agent. Emmett yeah, we Olson. did. It is 07 a.m. on September 6, yeah. 2019. I'm now proceeding with the interrogation. Okay, so. Ah, we need to go in there, do we? Nobody's allowed in, sorry. Reasonable. Nobody's allowed in, sorry. We need to find another safe room if we can. Hey, you can't go in there. This room is off limits to everyone but officers. Oh, my mistake. Then why are did I touch the stake? I did, yeah. I'm in charge of filing everything about the girl before we ship her out. Huh. Out of curiosity. Dormy? Oh, I bet you don't no, look grotesque. I just put things away. I bet you look cute like Dormy. It's above my pay grade. Come on. I need some tea. Need move on. What happened in this room? What happened here? They supervised Operation Burrow from here. It ended in crisis management. But I told you, you don't have clearance to know any more than that. It all depends on the vampire accident, to be honest. Okay, fine. So, this guy's sour. So we could nick one of the guy's costumes to do that. We haven't got another... We haven't got another uh, room where we can suck somebody off, though. So we gotta be a little bit careful. Our blood's getting a smidge higher. Excuse me. Aha! I stand corrected. Interesting. I guess we can find something that we might want in here. It's true, pumpkin. You must embrace it. Like, there are a lot of vampires out there who don't just see humans as food, necessarily. Sure, some of them have to feed to survive, and that's how they see it, they feed to survive. Others uh, enjoy the process, others are more monstrous. I guess, the, I guess the entire point is, just like humans, you can have monstrous vampires and you can have more human vampires. She says you can have fucking monstrous asshole humans, etc, etc. We don't need to dominate Nobody's this guy. Allowed in. Sorry. That's okay. Why don't you come with me? Over there. Yes. Sixty-seven or hundred. Get in there, then. Get in there. I mean, one of the very, very first things even Jack tells you in Bloodlines is you need to feed to survive, but that doesn't mean you need to kill to survive. He said there's a there's a monster living in your skin. Don't you know? Don't don't let it take over you. I mean, I wouldn't say Jack is the highest humanity vampire around, but you know, they they know that they shouldn't kill people. That you know, these guys in Boston have got a little bit kooky for sure. Is that another Fubii? I think I need to find another Fubii one. Are you Fubii? Yeah. Oh. Is humanity the humanity stat is a is a how? Yeah, it's basically how human they still are. The, the less humanity you have, the closer they are to a monster. Oh, thank you for the raid, Kiko. How was the wilder move? How's that been going? When creating a vampire in the fifth uh, edition system, one of the feeding types you can choose for your characters, they always need consent, or they feed only from animals or blood bags. Yeah, like, I think for the most part, as long as... I think... Unless I'm misunderstanding it, I think humanity is a state of mind and how much they remain to their not their past selves but how much they remain to their old moral guidelines potentially it's not it's not like just a raw like binary system they've got i think it's uh more of an individual thing 
And you will, you'll get some vampires who flat out refuse to feed on humans. Like, flat out. You're about to do the final mission. Oh, nice! And you said so far it's been really, really good, right? Vampiric powers are directly revived from a curse. Yeah, they like they're not like there's no like uh, thing about this. Is that cough syrup? <laughs> there's no thing about this, right? Like they are legitimately cursed by God. Like that's a bad place to be initially. They're, 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 the second they get embraced, they're cursed. They are they are having a bad time. It's from what I understand, it, from the Bloodlines universe, so to speak, is that the afterlife is is a real thing in this universe, and the vampires are not going there. By default. All that blood. Why do they manage their humanity? Is that because of how they are? Because of the best way to self the hunter radar? It's because of how they are. Like, from what Jack says, like, when the beast, quote, takes over you, it's like, it's like you've been kicked to the side. Someone else is wearing your skin. Albert. And it'll do anything. Shit. Like, it's a case of not only it's you surviving, it's a case of, do you really want to be that horrific monster? You got two more campaigns after that one. Is this like D&D style in the sense it goes up to level 20 as well? Like that sort of thing? Like with with the sort of campaign? Or is it like a uh, sort of thing? Welcome everyone. We're currently uh, trying to not bite people. I'm not sure how well this is going. You shouldn't be here. Why not? There's no point in asking me. I won't tell you a thing. You're not in my unit. Oh, in which case I will swap out and then become in your unit. <laughs> and then I'll come back in. Yay! The default state for vampires is humans ain't shit, we are awesome. And the exception of the ones to be more empathetic. Might be good ones, but like cops. Might be good ones, but the majority are actually harmful and like, empathetic. I think, uh, I think uh, comparing the uh, vamps to the cops is uh, doing the vamps a disservice there. <laughs> no, I don't, I, don't think, I don't think there's like a default state of mind for the vampires. Like, considering the fledgling when they got trans... The, what, if we use the fledgling as an example, they are, have no idea of the vampiric world. A monster could do something like that? They are not, uh, they're not groomed by a vampire, they are just... They are they are bitten, then they are thrust into this world, and they make they have to make of it what they what they would. That's that's the thing. They cannot learn new skills either, that isn't vampire related. Uh, I don't think that's true. No, I think the older, really, 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 really old vampires have a bit of trouble with their memory. Like they they start get they start getting a bit weird. And their memory tends to reset every night to how, like, when they get out of their, their, like, their, their torpor. It starts to really screw them up a little bit. All that blood. Yo. Uh, what's going on? Why are you locked up? Most games are ready for the campaign. I Some lock you in the end. Oh, okay, they sort of do that. Okay, that's interesting way, doesn't it? I have orders. There's no point in insisting. I can't. Okay, fine. I get it. Oh, okay. So we didn't learn a huge amount from that guy in the first place. Okay, so now we need to go back, nick the other uniform. I kind of hoped we'd find something interesting out of that, but we uh, didn't. So let's just go and grab the other one. They've changed Malkavians in version 5, it seems. Because uh, they're... The Mal like, Leisha as a Malk is much, much more lucid than the crazy fish Malk from Bloodlines. Cheers, Kiko. Appreciate the raid again, dude. And for those who are staying around, I hope you enjoy us... Uh, you know, being vampire -y. we are currently playing as Leisha. She is a Malkavian. And, uh, you know, we just beat a man to death with our hands, so that's always nice. There's nothing in the naming system. I Hello. Some backup at last. I was hoping for more. The officers had to go deal with some crisis. They left us to deal with this mess. Seems like she's under a lot of pressure. They left, didn't they? So there's no hurry. Yeah, you're right. But it's unusual. Not necessarily Fiki, I don't think. I don't know how to file all that. Can you tell me about it? I didn't get everything. The officers were making decisions about what to do with C-23. Instead of giving them to me, they archived part of it and left the rest in the war room. I'm worried I won't be able to figure it out. All right, I'll take a look. You never know. Yeah, if you can file anything you find, it'll help. C-23. Didn't we find a load of cabinets? Didn't we find a little cabinets? C23, right? Is there a C23 here? A, B... 20 to 29. C21. 
Operation Sons on Beta Site. 23. Transfer history. Investigation room 7. From to censored. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna. I need some willpower back, so let's actually use some of these items we've been hoarding like a swine. There we go. Yeah, the best example I can give you, Noble, is that the fledgling in Bloodline starts out fresh and they actively make a choice whether to indulge their monstrous nature or do not. Whether it's, I don't think it's about, um, necessarily about hiding in plain sight or anything. They, I think it's a personal choice, like whether you, you make a personal choice to be a crappy human or a decent one. You know, you, could you argue that humans by their very, very nature are garbage? Probably not, because I, it, nature versus nurture, etc, etc. There's a reasonable philosophical discussion here, I think, somewhere. Using the fledgling because they're player controlled. No, that is fair because vampires are a role playing setting. It's a, it's a D and D pen and papery role playing setting where you role play a character. Like, if anything, the fledgling is a is a brilliant example because that's what players will be doing in the pen and paper. They they are role playing a character. No, I can't be seen in this form here. Why not? It's not one of those really smelly plants. I really thought this uh, this form would be done. It. See premonition. I'm going to make them. I actually don't think we need to because we know we know where Halsey is already, right? <sighs> They're afraid I'll come looking for her. Me and Mum. Mum? Question mark. Mum, where is the mum? Where is the mum, indeed? Halsey's room. Sweetie. <laughs> How could Richard have left you in there? No, uh, Mal Malkav was Gen 3. And Diablerized Gen 2. That's why they all got cursed in the first place. Like, Cain cursed them. That's not going to make things easy for me. Reasonable discussion. I thought we should insult each other and declare ourselves correct these days. Oh, sorry, my mistake. Fuck all y'all. I'm right. Is that better? Vampire Masquerade game inside of Mod Netscon could be kind of cool. Oh yeah, didn't, didn't someone get okay? Who who is it? We ended up getting binned in the end. I forget. We, someone did get binned for being a bit of a knob. Sure, but using him as vampire, the rest of the vampire society isn't fair though. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. Again, it's difficult to say because I mean it's a role play scenario, so it all depends on how uh, the vampires are are designed for that role play. Are we saying the player characters don't count because they're decided by the players, or should we base it upon the vampires that are already established? Eh, in which case you could probably find a for and against argument. Again, if we use Bloodlines, because that's the one I probably know the best, you've got characters like Damsel, who I would say is actually relatively high in the humanity stage. She cares about the ghouls, she cares about the humans, she cares about the people around her. That she, she is someone who's in touch with her humanity. She still has proper emotions, she's not disconnected. Uh, same with a lot of the Anarchs there, actually. Uh, then you've got someone more like the Prince, who's willing to have collateral damage. However, the Prince is still not willing necessarily to have innocent casualties for various reasons, whether it's down to the fact that they will get caught, or whether the fact that he seems unnecessary. That's what makes the characters in Bloodlines actually pretty fun, because they're not, again, they're not moustache-twirling kitten, kitten cannoners, you know? They're not, they're not gonna, like, they're gonna throw grenades at a sack of puppies. Well, I don't know. Maybe maybe Andre would, because he's a bit weird. But, you know. Andre's an example of a, a bottom humanity vampire, actually. That's a, that's, a, that's a good example on the other extreme. That's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's another extreme. The Prince is evil and narcissistic, but not necessarily sadistic. I think that's a pretty good way to do that, yeah. I think that's a good way to... Look, it doesn't like innocent casualties. Is that the dude who strapped a bomb to one of his security guards? He, to be fair, that was that was uh, the very very end of the game where he was very desperate. Uh, again, I think I think if we're being reasonable, is the prince a bad person? Absolutely. Is the prince a genocidal maniac? No, I don't think the prince. I don't think uh, Lacroix is. No. Uh, would Andre happily slaughter his way through a preschool? 
yeah, probably. You know, would I expect the prince to do that? No, because he would deem it unnecessary. Again, I don't necessarily think it's the prince is a good person. I think it's a case of you're looking at the different levels of what humanity would give you. Again, Jack Jack is an example of a vampire who is willing to do the things that are necessary, but also has a line in the sand that he has a moral... Uh, has a moral... I guess a moral line in the sand, yeah. Which he will not cross. He, he, he has his own... This is okay. This is not okay. You don't need to kill people to feed. You don't need to kill people to keep yourself alive. Don't kill anyone innocent. It's not good for you. It's not good for your mental health. It's not good for giving into the beast. And your flesh goes, but what if someone goes from here? And he goes, ah, ah, ah. I said, innocence. If someone tries to go for you, you fucking slap him over the head, you bag him and skin him. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, well, there you go. You know, he, that he's got his own moral line in the sand. Sometimes sorting a whole freight ship full of people is uh, necessary. Indeed, indeed. Sometimes it's got to be done. Jack is great, yeah. But that's what I mean. That Bloodlines is written incredibly well. Incredibly well. Again, I hate to do it, and I, I'm probably, you're all very sick of me doing this, but it's an example of Emmett Selk from Final Fantasy XIV. Emmett Selk is undoubtedly the bad guy. Emmett Selk is a bad person who does bad things. They are the uh, antagonist to your protagonist. They do the naughties, you do the goodies. They are, you know, they are the opposite to you. But they also have nuances to them. They have their own reasoning of what they do. They have their own moral compass to guide them. Do I think Emma is genocidal, like, maniacal, and will just slaughter puppies by the truckload because it's for the funsies and the lulls? No. Do I think Emmett killed a lot of people because he did what he thought he thought was right? Yes. Like, it's an interesting one. I don't agree what he did, but I agree... But I... Not agree, but I understand what he was doing. Hell, you can always... You can always be empathetic to the bad guy, because you understand what they have lost. Well-written bad guy. You can do the same with, um... You can do the same with characters in Bloodlines. Not necessarily bad guys, but you can do the same. Do we empathise with Nines and Jack and, you know, Damsel? Yeah. Like Dracula, yeah. Dracula wanted to be a good person. Dracula's a good example. Dracula wanted to be a good person. Dracula met a lady, who I believe he never turned. Uh, Lisa, if I remember my Symphony of the Night lore properly. Uh, love of his life. They lived together very happy for multiple years. Had a child. Um, you know, uh, Dracula wanted to be a better person. He made he made an uh, he made a choice, a moral choice, to be a better person for this other person. That, again, that's a... If anything, if you like, that's a humanity. That's a... He made that decision himself. That's not some sort of automatic thing he did. It did. It is, I don't think that was him trying to hide in plain sight or anything like that. He wanted to do that. And again, I think that makes Dracula infinitely more interesting. And again, the same way that makes Andre interesting is that he became a monster by choice. He, you know, he became a real freak of a Samishi by choice. It's interesting. Like, again, you, there's a lot of interesting discussion about that. But my point is coming back around to it in a very, very long and drawn-out manner. Very sorry. But is, do I... Again, nature versus nurture, I suppose, when it comes to vampires. I don't think their default stance is horrible asshole. I think it's a, a purely individual choice with how they go. They all have their own moral compasses to guide them. And I think that makes them far more interesting than just monsters that are dodgy by default to try and hide. That's the way I see it, anyway. A lot of games made that exact mistake depicting evil. I mean, yeah, there's actually, there's also nothing wrong with having an evil, evil guy. Look at Xenos, man, from FF. Xenos is... A test of your reflexes. I threw 16 puppies at you. You must punch them all out to reach me. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm evil. Lol. And you know what? That's fine. It's, it's, it's absolutely okay to have a bad guy who's just a bad guy. But it's also much, it's much more interesting to have a bad guy who's a bad guy for a reason. Again, I brought this up the other day. Ozymandias from Watchmen. Uh, you know. Interesting. Uh, there's a couple of characters from Preacher. Uh, like, who think they're doing the right thing. But, you know, in their mind. But for lots of wrong reasons. 
Arthur's from Warcraft 3 is actually really interesting. Getting manipulated and getting, getting, and the culling of Strathome from Warcraft 3, I know it causes a lot of drama these days, but it's a really weird one where I kind of think that Arthur's was correct. Was it the right thing to do? Possibly not. But was he correct in what was going on? Yes. Did Uther know that? Probably not, which is causing the friction, but it's really interesting. He knew what had to be done and thought that was... Yeah, the Blizzard people... A lot of Blizzard devs were calling people out for saying that Arthas... Um, that Arthas... Basically saying that Arthas was a monster and he was never correct and, you know, everything he did was... He was a freak, blah, blah, blah. And I don't... I, again, I don't think that's quite right. Um, I, I, think, I don't think it's quite as black and white as that. I think that was the entire point of the scene, was that it isn't as black and white as that. I, I, uh, but that, so I was actually surprised when I saw the Blizzard developers talk about talk about it the way they did, because as far as I could see, and again, apologies if I, if, if if I'm wrong, but I thought the entire point of the scene was that it was a bit morally, it was more morally grey potentially. Is that he had to do a absolutely morally repulsive thing to s salvage a situation, and was he right or was he wrong? That's for you to decide, and that's what made it a bit more interesting. Yeah. Arthur's was a little bit sinister. I uh, I don't know. I feel some of it was a bit like was a bit like I don't know squiggly writing perhaps, but in the original Culling of Strathmore, Arthur was one hundred percent correct about what to do, and that's what makes a good writing because it turns him down a road despite that being the right decision. Yeah, indeed. And if anything, Malganus knows this and starts to manipulate him further and further, which again is very interesting. Hello, Lucas. Uther's objection to Arthur was always weak, and the man never suggested... He didn't. He didn't. He did the thing where it's, I don't like what you're doing, and, and it was like, well, what do we do then? They are going to die anyway. Do we just wait for them to die? Or And he's like, you're wrong, Arthur. Like, this is, you know, you're not, you're not your father. You're not my king yet, boy. You know, all that kind of stuff. And in far, as far as Arthur's was concerned, that was the right decision to make. And that's what made that more interesting, I thought. Again, whether whether you think that Arthur's is right, or you think Arthur's is wrong, is, you know, something that is probably more personal down to you. I don't think there's a flat out, Arthur's was 100% right, or Arthur's is 100% wrong. And that's what makes the scene interesting. Wasn't the culling more or less the result of the Lich King or Malganus move? I, I don't know. My take on it was that was the point in which Malganus realised, potentially, that Arthur's could be manipulated further. But they've retconned it so many fucking times since, I have no idea anymore. Uther's one of those, like, uh, what do they call him in D&D? Like, uh, lawful good paladins, right? There is only the right choice. If there is a wrong choice or a bad choice, it's not a choice at all. Lawful stupid, yeah, maybe. But, but you know what I mean? I always felt that that was, that was Uther. Uther was the, the, the... When you think of Paladin, you think of... You know, you think of Uther. You think of this guy who is so goody two-shoes that, that, you know, he embodies that. Well, and, you know, and then you had his apprentice, Arthas, who wasn't quite like that. You know, he had a, he had a rebellious streak. He had a little bit more of a thing. I mean, it was, I don't know whether Paladins were supposed to be fucking, like, wizards. <laughs> like, I don't know, but I, I guess the, the implication he's having a fling with, um, with Jaina. Lawful stupid. I kind of like that. Some vampires have canonically gone to heaven, but it's super rare, and to be allowed to do say so extreme effort. I think it's the end of one of the paths. I think it's called the path of heaven. That's actually interesting. I wonder. I wonder if that. I wonder if some of the um, Salibro that you can heal people ended up that way because of their empathetic nature. Yeah, Uther, Uther ended up with the rage, didn't he? Uther's values worked fine until the test and extreme circumstances where the things are more greyish. That's always the thing, isn't it? You can you can pl plonk your sa you can plonk your flag down, all well and good, but ultimately, you know, <laughs> ultimately, if something comes along to test your morals and you crumble immediately on the first step, 
I, it literally is a lose-lose decision though, right? The culling of Strathome. Again, that's kind of what made it interesting. Are, are you supposed to just let them die because they're already all infected? It, is there time to find a cure? No. Are, are you supposed to just watch them until they die? Or are you supposed to? Are you going to put them out of their misery before that happens? It, it's it's a lose-lose. It's a bo both are awful options. And again, that's that's kind of the interesting choice here, which, which I kind of thought was cool. I was even as a kid, I remember the culling Strathome being like, "Wow, holy shit, this is." Uh, this is pretty unique. There's undead with a formed army to ravage the whole kingdom with, yeah. Like, yeah. Again, I really, I really enjoyed culling a Strathome. And you know what was also really cool? Uh, back in World of Warcraft, I really enjoyed the caverns of time culling a culling a Strathome stage. Sure, they added the sort of angry dragon thing in it, but generally speaking, it was very interesting to actually be on the streets of Strathome. With Arthur's killing, you know, uh, killing the undead. It was it was an interesting uh, take on it. But honestly, they've done so much buggery of the uh, World of Warcraft and canon and shit. I I dread to think, but I really do. Absolute absolute shit first. Okay, I can't open that drawer if I'm in here. There's a game. Yeah, we end up getting an uh, interesting discussion about this. Which, honestly, that's fine. I'm, I'm always happy to have uh, cool discussions about these kind of things. Oh, we can actually go down now if we want to. Is there anything else we want to do in here, I guess? I don't, I don't think there's anything else to do. Is there any agents that aren't for BI that we can steal? Like, is this lady a different agent? I think she might be. After the assignment, a crisis to manage. We're barely treading water. I don't think we discovered anything else we could do in here, did we? Hey, Fairy Wolf. Uh, we've been going through the sad bases, Leisha. Uh, trying to find Halsey. We duffed Richard up pretty bad, too. Now it's time for me to explain where to. It's military. Yeah, it does. Shut it, you slag. Uh. I'm sure to be detected. I gotta make sure I, I don't need mix to change up. my appearance. I wonder. We haven't found an appearance that we can nick for that particular person. I don't think, which is a bit sad. There's also a computer back here. That I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to do with, but uh. Alright, I guess for now we should just move on and go to the basement, I guess. I don't think there's much else to do here. Luke. What's this? Private Halford, put down that weapon. I'm going to get started. Agent Emmett Olson. Can I backtrack? No, I can't. It is 07 a.m. On September 6th. I'll check the door again, but I think so. I'm now proceed. Wait, Agent Olson. What now? Halbert, he doesn't look too good. Private Halbert, what are you? Put down that weapon. Halbert? No shit, that's impossible. Whatever you do, stay calm. It's incredible. She's unlike anything we've ever seen before. This is hey, Fire Phoenix. Huh? I'm almost certain of it. She must sense our stress. She's defending herself. I'm gonna burn that bitch. Get a hold of yourself, soldier. Stay here. I'm gonna warn Monsignor. That thing could start again. But you will know how to control her. Don't breathe a word to anyone until we've got the situation under control. Shit. I think they changed the way Malkavians worked in V5, Crab, so that Malkavians can actually do this is pretty rare. I'll see if we can backtrack, um, Amon, and see if we can, uh... Maybe talk to the other agent after seeing this? Yeah, I could be actually. Let's see if we go for this door. Nope. 
Who'd win, uh, Leisha or Adam in a fist fight? Uh, I mean, Adam's better trained, but Leisha would be stronger. So I guess it depends. I mean, in theory, in theory, like Leisha, Leisha should be able to beat him up. Like, but it all depends. Adam, because Adam can hit pretty damn hard. He probably has, he probably has an equivalent strength to a vampire, to be honest. Yeah, let's see if I can talk to, uh... With all these transfers to catalog, it's gonna be a while. Yeah, I was about to say, there's probably not a lot in it, to be honest, in terms of physical Sorry, strength. Sorry, I still have to archive these reports. Yeah, now I've seen that, maybe I can tr maybe I can become, uh, a soldier again and talk to that guy. We can try that. Richard was disguised as Monsignor. Was he? Wait, wasn't this door right here or was it? Oh no, it's here. I take it, I can't be someone who's dead. No. Cyberpunk vampires would be fun. You know you can talk to me about it. I won't say a word to anyone. No, I'm not authorized to do that. And besides, it's too awful. Is it because of what happened? Oh, there we go. Halbert? Yeah, but how word gets around fast. They didn't want anyone to know about it. Did the kid do it? Yeah, even though that thing was under control. Olsen thinks she senses things and can still attack us despite it all. And she... She got to Halbert, right before my eyes. What did they do with her? Monsignor Stanford told them to take her down to the lab in basement four. I hope she tires out or they'll have to burn her to a crisp before she kills us all. Hull's eat a thing, he's not gonna get the... Nah, we don't need to dominate it's a waste of our blood at this point. I think I've heard enough. Let's keep this between us. Hang in there, Pumpkin. Mommy's coming. Yeah, come on, Pumpkin. Hang in there. Alright, I think we should go downstairs now then, I guess. Otherwise, I don't think there's anything else to explore up here that I can sort. Hang in there, sweetie. I'm on my way. Angry vampire mummy is here to kick some ass. I really like Leisha, actually. I really li I like her a lot. I could have taken Troy Collins' identity. I could have found a transfer file. I could have found a confidential file. I entered the base without getting caught. I destroyed Richard. You made the traumatized soldier talk. You listened to a recording of Halsey's interrogation. You entered the war room. Uh, okay. So not a huge amount of stuff, I guess, but... And Mumum -mum next. Hundred and eighty five experience, holy crap. I think I'm gonna get more celerity again. I feel that if we're gonna invade a base, I think that actually might be really friggin' useful. Zephyr, speed. One just costs a lot and one doesn't cost a lot. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I need both? I can't get both. I mean, that costs 180, like it's all my XP. Not a chance. Uh, what else should I get?
When life gives you eggs, make egg juice. Mmm, juicy. You are successful, Novo. Um, I don't think there's anything else we could pump up. We could potentially pump up Rhetoric. Any free points? Yeah, uh, there was the, basically, the security one was free, more or less. It cost me 10 to uh, pump up to um, level 3 security. I mean, depend. If we get another scene, we could try and save up for uh, the final point of celerity, but I feel that's going to be really expensive. It depends on what we want to do. I actually really don't. This 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 stresses me out more than it should do because like knowing that not getting the right stats here completely changes how this plays out is really annoying. Uh. But fast. Yeah, we do want to be fast. Alright, tell you what then. Let's go with... I've already, I can't do any more persuasion, unfortunately. It's too expensive. We can do more rhetoric. That's about it. What I could do is save my XP now, and then in the next scene, see if we can get something higher level, I guess. So we'll take the celerity 4 for now. Go from there. If, if worse comes to worse and I'm horribly wrong, we can just restart the chapter, I guess. Yeah, the room is impressively bad, isn't it? It's pretty funny, though. Wow, I'm completely dry. That vampire power at work. MM's like a duck. Just all the water just flies off of her. Lockpicking tool. Quack. Whee! What was the thing to examine down there? A lock system. They can come here by boat regardless of the time. Do you play as a bunch of characters? You play three characters. Play as three characters. Leisha. We've got Leisha, and we've got MM. And we've got Caleb. Come on, MM. Get in there, find a computer to upload that virus to, and get out. You got this. Looks like a badge reader. Doesn't seem to work. Ow, oh, look, we're above where Leisha went in. We're on that catwalk we saw. Enormous. Oh, stop it, Evan. Come on, Lewis. Get a hold of yourself. So we could celerity our way up there if we wanted to. So we could potentially pick the lock if we want to get through there. Or we can use uh, our reasonably cheap, to be honest, celerity, which we've got. Pew! My mum's pretty good at this, so... What's that? There's a noise over there? No, we can see it on the, uh... On the Auspex. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Fucking genius here. They're worried about high tides. I see some marker. But you can barely make it out. Main is performed. Main is performed. Lock gate to be done no later than. Uh, 
the fourth of the twenty-second month of the year, whatever the fuck that is. Like, I guess like that'd be like, I guess double November. No, 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 November. So the fourth of no, no, November, twenty eighteen. Man's performed. Man's performed. Man's performed. Okay. Is there anything actually else here? Let me look at. I guess we've got plenty of hunger to play with. I guess we should just. Uh... There's something else. On the ceiling. That's weird. On the ceiling. Guess we look for something on the ceiling. Yeah, I, I thought with the aspect thing. I'm on, yeah. So we can pick, presumably. An electronic lock with a code. So we need to find a code for it then. Oh, hi, doggy. So we can play Zappy Zaps again. That takes us all the way over that way. Or we can climb. There's a Humi over there. Oh, is that the lady we told to piss off earlier? And go look at the horizon? Shit! It, she might actually catch us. Okay. Crab pie, crab pie, crab 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 So we can probably celerity behind her like this. Yeah, there we go. Free food! Aw, thanks, Leisha. The, oh, hi, the oh hi doggy is so funny. Oh hi doggy, you're my favorite customer. Delicious. They should always look like she's had a really satisfying wee when she beats people. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like, man, I need the piece of bed. Goddamn. Stealthy shadow, plus one to the physical attribute. Her physical powers are enhanced. Oh, that's cool. Oh, no, we're maximum sus. Why am I maximum sus now? What, what did I do last time to be even more sus than before? I don't know, this this has only ever gone up and never gone down, so I haven't fucking foggiest. I guess that's just how this game rolls, I guess. Oh, this is fun. I bet I can celerity f Oh. Maybe I can't celerity for it. That'd have been kinda cool. Airlock Queen. What, what, why am I an airlock? You receive sus for existing. Am I uh, Mogus? Am I sus now? It looks like it works for Oh wow. Thank you for the biddies, Noble. I hope I'm not sus though. I can go down here or There's got to be another way. Um yeah, we go down, right? This is a waste of my time. Alright, I'm I'm chill, Jesus. Jetson Wee and I saw him in the vent at the end. What? Nonsense, you saw nothing. In fact I saw Noble, who was the most sus, fucking around in the uh with the this wires. This is a waste of my time. I saw I saw him kill yellow. I hear ratties. Whee. So you can go down or you can fly across here. Hello, Jeremy's. I'd rather do without it if I don't need it. Coward. 
This is a waste of my time. Is it though, Emma? So why do we want to jump across here for? I guess because we could potentially get a door. Can we follow these wires around? These vents are pretty big. They're vampire sized. Can I not go up here? This is a waste of my time. Administrative section. I should be able to find a computer here to upload the program. The purple is my um, feeding feeding gauge. I don't even want to touch that. I feel we should be able to touch this. I don't know. It feels like we should be able to fuck with this. This is a waste of my time. The most unrealistic thing about Deus Ex is that a fucking unit like Jensen can get into any vent. He's absolutely enormous. The dude has shoulders like a fucking hippo. What happened to the vampire cuts the hair? It always returns to how it was when they were embraced. So MM's hair is would be like this, like when she was embraced, I guess. Maybe not, maybe not as stylized. I don't know. Depends. But uh, so, for example, if you're if you're embraced with really long hair, every time, every night when you get up. Uh, your hair is back. If you're a baldy like Max, then you always be baldy. Somebody's down there. Daisy. It's like a little girl could do something like that. It's unbelievable. That's sexist. What a pleb. That was family yet? No, not yet. They're waiting till after the alert, I think. His wife expecting a third. I know. Oh yeah, because I guess there would be less guards around if we'd actually sent the Anarchs in. It told us to check the ceilings, didn't it? But I haven't seen anything yet that can allow us to frick with the ceilings, but... but the protocol that wasn't a question, Thorpe. I guess we can open this and go. Or we can look down. I have orders not to leave this office. Then stay here. Sir, please, the blank body was captured. Stanford is interrogating it now. The situation is under control. Right, fine, I'll go with you. There's no need. I can manage on my own. You stay go here. Go on, yeah. split up. Ugh, as you wish. Goodness. What have we here? Why isn't it working? Shit. I told you I wouldn't be long. You celerity, you celerity, you slip. Not a word. Jeez, you've... you're one of them, aren't you? Nope. The blank body. You're sus. What do you want? I need to put something on your computer. I tried accessing your network, but it's not working. Why not? I... I don't know. Well, agent man. I won't hurt him. Should we threaten him? What do you reckon? Should we, should, we, should we bully? Are we gonna bully or no bully? Yeah, the fact that USB enabled is like would be the most unrealistic shit ever. Scare him. Bully? Yeah, we'll bully him. Don't play that game with me. But it's the truth. If you're of no use to me, 
And there's no point in keeping you alive. What? No! All right! All right! I can help you! Just don't hurt me! I'm listening. Bully. Why are you doing this? It's better you didn't know. <sighs> Listen, it's simple. You need to go all the way down to the server room. That's the only way to spread your... thing. Oh. Tell me how to get there. Stop it, agent. To take the intelligence elevator and go all the way down to the bottom floor. I've told you everything I know. Can I go now? Uh, he has to die. Hmm. Pre let's, let's, let's bully him first. I need you to answer a few more questions. I'm on a very important errand. It's way above your pay grade. You have to help me. I... I can tell you're right. It's true, I am. What do you want to know? The party. I know somebody sold us out. Who was it? I... I don't know. But the informant wasn't working alone. I heard they had an accomplice. What? What? Got a name for me? No. Nobody knows who it the is. The outcome? They just send us intel. 100%. That's, that's what all. you mean. What do you have on us? Lots of stuff. Profiles, names, sometimes even addresses. Your snitch sure was busy. So then, you know who I am. No. Your face isn't familiar. Oh, 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 ah, ah, hmm, okay, I think I, I think I know who it is, yeah, it's Hilda, it's Hilda, gotta be, it's Hilda, 100%, oh, the overlay was, he, yes, he's alive, alive, he's a liability, 61%, was what some people want to say, we can kill him. I reckon it's Hilda. It's Hilda. It's the only thing that makes sense. We weren't on that picture. They don't know who we are. Hilda isn't on that picture. Hilda wants to keep us safe as much as possible. The only way this makes sense is if it's Hilda. I think. What am I gonna do with you? You promised you'd let me leave. Alright, we can ask again. Should we kill him? There you go. It's, it's, you've got 20 seconds to uh, clicky, clicky, clicky. Nah, nah, nah. Yes, off with his head. No, don't kill him. Y'all are fucking soft. Uh, all right. Kill, kill. He's in the SI for God's sake. Kill him. Oh, I think we got more for kill then. Leave him be. Fine, kill him. Kill him. Sorry, but I can't take that risk. What? But you said... What can I say? I lied. I lied. <laughs> See, this is the kind of shit I was talking about. Like, you would not want to get punched by one of these guys. Merciless. Not much of Eminem's humanity remains, but leaving a witness alive is far too risky. Now, anyone who crosses the path knows she's a force we reckon with, and that words cannot save them. Minus one to psychology, plus one to intimidation. Yeah, I mean, I agree with Bethran. Basically, my, my thought is that we should kill him. We, we, they're all, these guys are all, uh, Second Inquisition. All of them knew what they signed up for. All of them want vampires dead. We should not, we should, all of them should die. Like, literally, like, the whole lot of them. Like, it, there's, there's, as a vampire, there is no benefit to any of these guys being alive. The only one that has shown us any sort of indication we should probably keep him alive is that priest we chatted to as Caleb, probably. A minus one to humanity. Maybe because that was a that was a 
It's a difficult one because that that's an in, that's an in sort of in cold blood kind of kill. So you could probably argue that's a humanity loss. Only a vampire deleted it deals an absolute. That's not something that the Jedi would show you. How to punch a man in the chest till they die. <laughs> MM has skills that some might find unnatural. Shane, he came from Detroit. Hey, he knows what we're going to play soon. Good for you, Shane. Shane has a bachelor's degree in physical education from the University of Hartford. He's also the captain of his school soccer team. He served for five years with the US Marine Corps. Excellent reviews and recommendations from his superiors. Divorced, no children. Pays a monthly pension to his ailing father who lives in Detroit. Pets puppies on the weekend, has a butterfly farm, enjoys looking after orphans. <laughs> He's an excellent asset. I really hope he doesn't get horribly murdered. <laughs> Who's disciplined and able to adapt to any situation. He has a high tolerance to hostile situations, however, he can be violent when pressured. He's previously sought help from our psych unit. Casey dead. Rip. Fuck off, you and Shane. Well, Shane, Shane's probably dead, so you know. Oh, okay, who was that, Neville? To be fair, vampires should die, but no, but we're the vampires. That guy knew what vampires were. That guy, because he knew, because he knew from the pictures. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. It was. I think it was him. Yeah. Ms. Hansen trained and graduated at the West Point Military Academy. She served for five years in the US Army, a veteran of the conflict in Afghanistan, single, no children. Private Cassie uh, is vital to our division. She's resilient and determined, possessing great mental strength. She blew up though. Pew. Rip. Her background in the US Army in the field makes her an ideal candidate for a position with more responsibility. Steve Sato. Sato? Grandson of uh, Japanese immigrants, he attended Columbia University, where he earned a bachelor's degree in applied physics. Mr. Sato and, uh, served three years in the US Army before joining SAD. Oh, he's upset now. Married to Adela Palomo. He has one daughter, May, born in 2017. Private Sato is a reliable asset, has re uh, repeatedly demonstrated abilities in the field. He's disciplined and a good team player, however, he exhibits a high degree of sensitivity in operations involving minors, especially since the birth of his daughter. Yeah, imagine. do anything with that. Fuck's sake, M.M. Juris Doctor. Yale Law School. That reeks of money. Yeah, fuck that guy. What a knob. It's an editorial to do Nosferatu's job, yeah. How do I hack? Uh, special cell number one, Harmon Collin. Lycanthrope. Yay, it's a wolf. Number two, Arij Us Al 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 Farsi. Arij Al Farsi. Farsi. Al Farsi. Sorry, I probably horribly butchered that. To apologize. Apathetic subject, ready for interrogation. Jara's being held here. Jara. She seems to be giving them some trouble. Wait, what? I thought Jara was dead. Particularly violent subject. Unknown. Subject to inter ag agitated to interrogate, awaiting transfer to laboratory. Unoccupied. Unoccupied. Jorit. So, don't open cell number one. Special cell, I guess. Rip and pepperoni, noobs. Seriously, we shouldn't feel sorry for murking anybody in here. No matter what document it says. Meeting with Mr. Loveless. Video call. Okay. We ain't going to meet that meeting, are you, sir? Thing is, if we let him go, he would have immediately told someone we were here. Like, that's the other thing. As soon as he saw his, he... Like, his life ended the second he walked back into that room. Rip and pepperoni. Interview. Roshan Singh. Candace demonstrates sound knowledge of our government system. He claims to be a team player acquired for his involvement in sports and associations. His physical condition is satisfactory. No criminal record. The recruitment process has started. Will you let me go? Do you see me here? <laughs> Literally. Whee! 
That's cool. Man, they've had some, they've got some really good animations actually for uh, MM in this scene. Like she's done some really fun stuff. Okay, I can't muck around with that. There's some blurred up here. Wait, is this the door I went in originally? No, it isn't, because it, that wouldn't make sense. Yay! Hello. Needs must. Sorry, Jeremy. Suspicion increased. Fed from a rat. Well, fuck you, game. I'm already at 100. You can't punish me any further. This is a waste of my time. So I can actually go up here if I want to. This is a waste of my time. Shut it, MM. This is a waste of my time. Track. Beep. Who saw me? The ghosts. Their informant has a code name. That's a start. The unit led by Captain Troycon successfully neutralizing new specimen. C-23. Intruder capture. Intrude and capture a blank body on Long Island base. Caleb. What were you like? The specimen subdued and interrogated Mr. Walter Stanford and Society Leopold. We are awaiting the results of the interrogation. Security levels have been increased. Informant interrogation. As stipulated in the last report, our inter team interrogated se several specimens captured during the Operation Nest. One of them claims to be our informant and has identified themselves by a code name. The specimen is under observation of Mr. Walter Stanford. We're waiting for the results. Hmm. Operation Nest? Hang on. Operation Nest was um, the Red Salon, right? Dear Madam, attached to the report of the most uh, pr recent progress of Operation Swan Song. Although Operation Nest was extremely effective in eliminating the terrorists, there were more civilian losses than anticipated. As per a procedure, our team brought the victims to our base, now identifying the bodies. It goes without saying that the collateral damage, if not properly dealt with, could jeopardize the visibility of future operations. Sorry, viability. We therefore hope to be able to count this with the full cooperation of your team in dealing with the public and media coverage of this case. Oh, it was Burrow. Right, so Nest was... Nest was the apartment or the attack on Hazel's place. Interesting. Whee. It'd be funny if you just drop down into the fan and go bleep. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Emma. Yeah, rip. Yeah, my girl Big M, she died. It's a horrible fan accident. Yeah, rip. So Hilda wasn't captured at the hotel. Nope. So unless Jara, I mean Jara, they reckon they got Jara. This is a waste of my time. That's a, a one way and done. Is there any others we can investigate around here then? Wee. A medal for outstanding service to the nation. What a load of bullshit. Yeah, well, not anymore, mate. More like outstanding service to cleaning the fucking floor, mate. No, he's dead. Rip. Mm, 
I guess we can't go back up here, which is annoying. So we can only go back up the way we came. Yeah, Joni was in Jarrah's room. Unless Joni had special. I'm surprised we, didn't, we haven't met Joni again. Just a bit sad, but. Alright, well, we can't get through here, so I guess we are going back up then. I guess we gotta drop down that that thing now? I don't know. Whee! The second Inquisition hate werewolves too, though. Like, they want the werewolves dead too, so I doubt the werewolves working with them. They see werewolves as also as monsters. Wolves, wolves can be a little bit cavalier with uh, with human lives as well. Have we done both? Like, we need some sort of key card to get through a lot of these places, which we obviously don't have. This is a waste of my time. I'm shot it. This is a waste of my time. We definitely checked that. We checked all this one already, didn't we? There's nothing else up here, I guess. This is a waste of my time. I'm gonna check. I didn't need to do anything with the last one. I can only. I can't lift this grater. I guess it was just for f like flavory stuff. All right. I guess we're done with this area for now. Uh, we go down. To, we we go down the the vent now for the next bit. I can't see any other. That's the waste of my time. I can't see any other ways to go at the moment. I can't go back this way. And this was this room, which I don't think there's anything else to do in here, was there? There's this. But I can't do anything with it. A muscle grill. Yeah, that's a bit. That's a lost cause at that point. This is a waste of my time. All right, I am probably going to stop here for this evening, though, since it is getting close to half past, and uh, I'll stop. I'm sure, it's five minutes. But before we go down that uh, one-way street and presumably start a load of cutscenes, I will park us here, like so. After brutally murdering the man. And go from there. Uh, where's the thingy gone? There, thingy. Delicious. Right. That's right, Cape. I'm glad you've uh, been having fun. Honestly, I'm, I've been thoroughly enjoying it. They're, like, don't get me wrong. It's not again. It's not perfect. But I've, <laughs> I've really enjoyed the uh, what we've been doing with it. Oh, thank you, Noble. Thank you very much for that, that gift you said right down there, dude. Thank you. No worries, Amon. No worries. No worries, Shadow W. Cheers, Kabunked. Cheers, Sorty. Cheers, Mox. Thank you, Fairwolf. Thank you very, very much, everybody. I hope everyone's had a lovely, lovely time. That was nice to see you again, Cody. Thank you again for the gift, Sub Noble. Good night, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful London evening. evening. Let's harass Ollie, because that's uh, <laughs> only the polite thing to do. Oh, oh, Amon. Thank you as well. Thank you, the gifts of Dante, Brian. Thanks, thank you. Thank you both. Thank you, Noble. Thank you, Armand, for both, both doing that. Sorry to end just as you gifted. I feel a little bit rude about that, but thank you both. That was really kind. You're both very generous. Thank you. Should we, uh, we shall hassle the Ollie Dag. I hope everyone had a lovely, lovely stream. I'll see you all tomorrow for some more, I don't know, ludery and hand-holding and other disgusting, horrible shit. And we'll go from there. Mwah. Good night, everyone. Take care. Oh god. You are a raider. Legendary. Suddenly a raid. Hey there, man. How you doing? With 69. Nice. A nice amount of raiders. I approve. How you doing, man? How is everything? How was your stream? Eight. It's a raid. How you doing? <laughs>